I come by train from St. Peter Ording and continue by bike. My first port of call is the old town. There are gabled houses from the 17th and 18th centuries showing Dutch influence. And so it is not surprising that there is a carillon here. Unfortunately I just missed the carillon and didn't want to wait until this afternoon. But it will probably sound something like this. A group of seniors is sitting in front of the cafe, probably like every day. The Evangelical St. Laurentius Church is also located on the market square. The north wall of which dates back to the 12th century. The church is currently being restored, so access is not possible. The market fountain from 1613 is one of the few artificial fountains in Schleswig-Holstein. On the way to the harbor I pass the old fire station and some other historical buildings. The port of Tonning is a beautiful gem. The skipper who was built in 1624 has an eventful history. It initially served as accommodation for seamen. In 1799 it became a pilot school and today it is a school hostel. Along the Harbor Mile, many small restaurants and cafes invite you to stop. Up until the 1970s, the port was home to one of the largest shrimp boat fleets. Since the construction of the Eider Barrage, the harbor has been used almost exclusively by leisure boats. That was different. At the end of the 16th century it was developed as a trading port and made Tawning the most important town on the Eider Peninsula. This building houses the regional water and shipping office. Many buoys, buoys and other shipping material are stored on the other side of the harbor. I drive past the wonderful little houses that remind me so much of the captain's houses in Hamburg of Elgun. On the opposite side is a large warehouse from 1783, which is called Canal Pack House here in Tonning. But first I continue along the harbor and pass a family of bronze seals and some beautifully restored houses from 1797. This Frisian door is a real work of art. The house with the gable roof is a former pilot house from the late 18th century. There, where I cross the harbor over the so-called White Bridge, there is a beautifully restored large residential building with Art Nouveau decorations which was formerly built as a warehouse. The beauty of looking back across the harbor with the many pleasure boats in front of the long line of beautifully situated houses overlooking the harbor touches me deeply. The individual owners. The municipality of Tawning and many development associations have made the port something special. The canal packing house is also preserved today as a cultural and historical heritage by a support association and the whole area comes very close to a museum harbor. When there was still free access to the sea, Tawning had an important shipyard here, which, however, had to cease operations in 1924. And so two main industries, fishing and shipyards, went under. What has remained is the beautiful townscape and the unique harbor, which today attracts tourists like me.